Black holes, the big old sexy top heavy mass collapsing bitches warping all the gravity wells deeper than the Marianas trenches. You wanna learn science from a scientific mind? Well, I'm an astrophysicist. So let's get our facts aligned. The father of black hole physics are Einstein and Hawking because Newtonian physics hit a wall which left us physicists balking. Now I'm not gonna hit you with 10 second order partial coupled differential equations, although I've been known to solve those mentally and freehand on many different occasions. Now Newtonian's gravity theory is based on objects exerting forces and he thought the objects can influence things at a distance and alter other objects. Courses, Einstein said, no, mass and energy, bend space and times, those two are paired. It's a very simple equation, E equals MC squared. So mass and gravity are inexplicably interlinked. Well, you wanna make a black hole, you say. Well, the process is distinct. You just take the mass of our own Earth and collapse it down to the radius of a kitchen sink. Now our sun, the bright old bitch, into a black hole will it morph? It won't. Its mass is far too small. It'll collapse into a white dwarf. Fusion is a process that keeps a star puffy and inflated, and gravity keeps it together, but that fact used to be debated. Now, when there's no more fuel to keep the fusion fire burning, the equation collapses and gravity starts overturning. There's no force resisting compression, so mass and space are distorted tight. And once you pass the event horizon, it's goodbye to the light. No matter your speed, no matter your force, you will never see the universe again because of the crushing force of gravity. It conquers all, my friends. So if you find yourself in the equation 2GM over C squared, turn back because you've reached the event horizon where everything fades to black.